So I've made a couple of videos about C3 AI in the past and I have said a couple positive things about the company. Therefore, I feel somewhat obligated to, you know, speak about the negatives that we're seeing in the news cycle for C3 AI. So there is a lawsuit um, pending right now um, against billionaire uh, founder Thomas Siebel, who has said that he has a, self, a sales force of 12,000 salespeople at Baker Hughes. This number seems to have been, you know, fabricated, overstated, whatever you want to call it. Um, and CNBC did a really, really good job breaking this all down in this video right here. So I'll play the video and I'll give you some of my thoughts at the end of it. Kath Ryan, who previously represented investors in reaching a settlement against Theranos, is now behind a new investor lawsuit against C3 AI, alleging the company misled investors that it had access to a 12,000 person sales organization as part of its partnership with Houston based energy technology company Baker Hughes, a C3 AI client that uses its AI solutions and sells the product to companies in the oil and gas industry. The first instance being in a pre-IPO filing that said we are jointly marketing and selling with the active engagement of Baker Hughes, which has a 12,000 person sales organization. At an interview in C3AI's headquarters, Siebel stood by his statements about the size of the sales force. Did you say the 12,000 people were working with Baker Hughes to sell the C3AI product? I believe it's on the order of 12,000. On a call, you said in partnership with Baker Hughes, we have 12,000 people selling every single day into the oil and gas industry. And that was said about 13 times within that year. Really, what were the dates? I don't, I don't remember saying it 13 times. Here are some of those 13 times. They have 12,000 people selling with us around the world every day. Come on, for a company like us to get 12,000 people. 12,000 people selling with us. 12,000 people. I have 12,000 people selling for me at Baker Hughes. You have 12,000 people working with us. Dan Brennan, a senior vice president at Baker Hughes who oversees the partnership, was at C3 the day we interviewed Siebel. We've got a large sales force. I couldn't tell you what the exact number is. After initially being unable to quantify the size of the sales force, Brennan later told CNBC he estimated that the 12,000 figure was in the ballpark. I'm not certain what the number is today, okay? It was represented to us at one point in time, those 12,000. I'm not certain what the number is today. The lawsuit says the publicity about the massive Baker Hughes sales force artificially inflated C3 stock. Siebel and other insiders took advantage of this by selling more than 11 million shares. I think that if you look at the percent of my ownership in the company, that was a very small percentage. I'm still the largest shareholder and I have a substantial commitment to the company. And then the cards came tumbling down. They had to admit that the smoke was just smoke and there wasn't 12,000 people there. Kath Ryan points to a statement Siebel made in a December 2021 earnings call and he alleges it reveals the company never had the full resources of the repeatedly touted 12,000 person sales force. They really weren't the people with the relationships and they weren't the people with the quotas and they weren't the people with the deep industry expertise. Catherine's four investors allege the multi-month lag on that disclosure was one of the factors that cost them more than $1.2 million. In a motion to dismiss, attorneys for C3AI don't address the exact number of the sales force, instead calling Siebel's numerous statements about the thousands of salespeople classic puffery that no reasonable investor would have taken literally, adding the number touted was obvious hyperbole. C3AI attorneys say it doesn't matter what the sales force statements were, the partnership with Baker Hughes was in part responsible for increasing revenue. Two former Baker Hughes employees who asked not to be identified due to fear of repercussions told us while there are 12,000 total salespeople at the company, they are not all trained and qualified to sell the C3 AI product. A 2021 agreement between C3 and Baker Hughes shows that C3 would train up to 60 Baker Hughes sales personnel on its product free of charge. A Baker Hughes spokesman said the company has trained well beyond 60 employees, but wouldn't clarify a total. How do your investors understand the difference between puffery when it comes to the business and factual statements? I can't speak for them. I think 
have to ask them. After our interview, C3's communications team emailed a statement which read, Mr. Siebel stated that C3 AI had access to 12,000 to a 12,000 person sales organization at Baker Hughes because he believed it to be true and has no reason to believe it is not true today. I also asked a former SEC official about this puffery, as Siebel's attorneys call it. The former official said that you're allowed to burnish your brand, but you can't do so by changing or fabricating the numbers that are important to investors. Brian? Yeah, it's been outside of the lawsuit. There's also two short seller reports circulating on C3AI, not to mention about a third, about 29% of the company's public float is currently sold short. In other words, people are betting against it. That's an unusually high percentage. Is there concern about this Baker Hughes relationship in either of those reports? There are questions over C3's relationship with Baker Hughes, not just the sales force, but about C3's unbilled receivables, meaning money that's owed but has not yet been paid. Baker Hughes, one of C3's biggest customers, has the highest amount of unbilled receivables, over 91% in the quarter that just ended. Now I asked Siebel about this. He said he has no concerns over Baker Hughes's payment plan. Also worth noting, in April, Baker Hughes announced it divested 1.7 million C3 AI shares. Despite the optics of this, Brian, Baker Hughes says its commitment to C3 AI remains the exact same. You know, the stock's been trading really like a meme stock in a way, up 200% this year, and you have to think at least some of it is because of its glamorous ticker. AI. But has this company, which is probably new to a lot of our viewers, always been about AI? Well, part of the mystery around this company is that it has undergone many, many name changes to correspond with what's hot in the market at that time. In 2009, it was founded as C3 Energy up until 2016 when it changed to C3 IoT. Brian, I'm sure you remember when Internet of Things had a brief moment in the sun. And then in 2019, C3 IoT were banned, rebranded to what we now know as C3 AI. Definitely some crazy things are being alleged against the company. Obviously, it seems like they definitely are wrong in this whole Baker Hughes situation. Also found it super interesting that the company has changed its names for it's changed its name for a total of three times now. It used to be Internet of Things, and you know now. It's kind of jumping on the most, um, you know, trendy thing, which is AI. It used to be an energy, um, you know, kind of marketing pitch. Now it's AI. It's kind of, it's kind of interesting. I do think this company is the first mover within the space, but, geez, it it, it does make you kind of question, you know, the morals and, um, you know, the competency of the management team when these things are coming out, right? Um, so definitely be safe when you're investing in this company. Do your own research in d and I did think that this article was pretty interesting um, that CNBC put out, and I'll, and I'll leave a link to, to the article in the description as well. But if you liked the video, I would appreciate it. If you left a like and subscribe to the channel, it helps us out a lot. If you'd like to see my portfolio moves, my buys, my, my sells, you can join the Discord, which is linked below. If you would like to get our free daily newsletter, you can sign up at the sub stack below as well. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. Happy invest.